Hello, good morning, good morning. It's just about 10 o'clock and today is Thursday. And I have some special stuff for you today. I'll wait, this is a live video. If you're watching later, it's recorded, but we start out live and so we're waiting for some people to come on. And here we are on Facebook and we do live Facebook every Monday through Friday, uh, 10 a.m., around 10 a.m. till around 10.30. Sometimes we go over a little bit. Hello, Amelia. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Elias. Mm. I was just saying that every, every uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we go live at around 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock and we end around 10.30. And this is Keto Kids Yoga. My name is Heather Kamala, and today look what I have for you guys. It's something a little bit different. I decided, okay, we're on week four. Can you guys believe it? Week four. So this is video number 19. Tomorrow is Friday and today is Thursday. Oh, hi, Carissa. Hi, Harper. How are you today? Wow. Thank you for coming and watching my um, live video where you can talk to me and I can talk to you. And that's really fun. So today is Thursday. Well, hello, good morning, Lulu. Good morning, Cedar. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. That's Amelia and Elias and Harper, maybe Hudson and Lulu and Cedar. Good morning to you. Yay! Awesome, I'm so glad to hear that you guys are doing well. Yes, this is a live video on Facebook. Later we'll have it be as a recorded uh, thing that I upload to our other house called YouTube. <laughs> so you can see all the videos there and on Facebook. All right, we're all over the place, you guys. Social media, it's all about online right now, right? Hashtag stay home. We're doing our best. We're doing our best, right everybody? <laughs> With a little bit of rain here in the Sacramento Valley. Okay, so what do I have here today in my Keto Kids Yoga Circle Time? I don't know if you guys can see that properly. I hope so. Um, always, you know, the camera is not like the best, best angle, but today we're going to work on colors. I decided that today because it's class number 19, so we're now at the end of our fourth week. Can you guys believe that? Wow, tomorrow will be class number 20. And every day I've been here for you guys. If you are available, I am available. Thank you. The more you come, the more I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing here. Let's see. So what was I going to say? I wanted to do something a little bit different. I usually start out with just pure yoga, move, move, move like that. But I decided today I'm going to do something that is about painting. So painting, yes, yeah, so some colors. So I have my paintbrush. Mm hmm I have some kind of messy paints here, but fun. Mm-hmm. If you guys have something like this at home, uh, you can do it later, but for now you can watch me, okay? And I'm going to teach you guys a new song. Three little verses to a song. And here is my water. Okay, so I'm gonna get my paintbrush wet. Uh-huh. I know that you guys like to watch me draw, so I'm going to do this for a little bit, and then we'll do some yoga, and then we'll have story time at the end, okay? Painting, yoga, story time. Three things. Not bad. All right. We'll do our best in 30 minutes, 30 plus minutes, right? Okay, so here we go. You guys ready? Live, live, live. Hello, Chisan. Oh, hi, gozaimasu. Good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. And Dahlia, how are you doing today? Mm-hmm. Excellent, excellent. Uh, okay, that's awesome. Harper, I love to paint. You love to paint, right? Who else loves to paint? Amelia, Lulu and Cedar probably love to paint. Uh, probably, I bet Hudson loves to paint too, huh? Elias, hmm, does he like to paint yet? And how about Lulu and Cedar? And who else did I say? Dahlia, do you like to paint? All right, I'm talking to all my little cuties who are live on this broadcast, and thank you, thank you, thank you, my sweethearts. I really appreciate that you guys come on. That means a lot to me. Yes. All right, so here we have our beautiful picture, and we, it's, we're going to have uh, three different parts of the song. Are you guys ready? We say, okay, let's see if I can do this. 
I'm going to put the words right here so I can read them. As I, as I paint. All right, I'm going to go on this side and I'll move my paints over here so I don't knock it over. Okay, here we go. We say ant and bee. So this part is the part number one up here. Okay. I feel like that's too far away. I'm going to do a crazy thing and I'm actually going to paint with one hand and show you guys with one hand. Okay. We're going crazy here. So we have, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little ant and there's a little bee in the boat and they're in the blue. So it's the yellow stream. And then they're going to float into the great blue water, okay? Oh, here it is, the great blue water. So we are going to mix the colors yellow and blue. So let's first get some yellow. All right, guys, have our paints down here. Can you see that? Get some yellow. Yeah, I'm gonna get a really big tripod. Maybe I should borrow one from somebody. I don't, I don't know where mine is in storage somewhere. Okay, here we go. Ready? I got a bunch of yellow. You can do this too, Harper, or anybody who wants to later, okay? You can watch the video again and do it later and sing the song together with us. You guys ready? We say, oh, that was a lot of water here. It's okay. We're not in a hurry, right, guys? And I take our time when you're painting. You don't need to be in a hurry, right? Okay, so we have first little circle. It's yellows we say and and be in the yellow stream oh is it gonna is it gonna go down well let's mix it around mix it with my finger that's yellow and here we have it's the yellow stream oh look at that's cool oh it looks good i like it when they kind of blend together like that all right am i doing a good job <laughs> okay and and be in a yellow stream flowed into the great blue water. So now we have to get blue. Let's get some blue. You guys don't have to do it at the same time, but you can watch me first. So here I am getting my blue, 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 blue. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, that's some nice blue. Oh yeah, looks good. Let's see. Mm-hmm, that's blue. All right. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. So it's Ant and B in the yellow stream flowed into the great blue water. Look at there. It is blue and that's a beautiful color blue, right? And let's rub it around, rub it around so it doesn't drip down. And here's the blue here. Ready? Blue, blue, blue. Oh, it looks like water. It's flowing and it's beautiful. Does that look great? Okay, so here's the question. Here's the question, my cuties. If Ant and B were in a yellow stream and they flowed into the great blue water, the color that turned out, it made them shout, what color could it be? Okay, what color? What happens when you blend yellow and blue. Mm-hmm. Let's see. We're going to find out right now. We're going to mix a little bit of blue in there and we're going to mix a little bit of yellow. Hold on everybody. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious with a little bit of black too. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Ooh, I see it's blending. Something's happening. Let's mix it with our finger. Uh, we need a little bit more yellow to make it be a real thing. I think you guys are gonna guess. Are you gonna guess? What color could it be? You do a little bit more yellow. You guys tell me what happens when I mix yellow and blue. Let's blend it. Did it work? It's a lot of water. What color? I'll wait for you guys to tell me. What color could it be? Can you see it? It's green! Yay! Did you guys see it? And my hands got green too. All right. 
So I'm gonna put the camera back down here for a minute so I can sing you guys the next song. Whoopsie. All right. Every once in a while I do experimental live <laughs> Thank you, Harper. Good job. Yay. Did you guys guess it? All right. Okay, now let's see. That was awesome. We, okay, we have two more. Are you guys ready for the next one? The next one, <clears throat> I'll read it to you. It says, Frog and Toad were on the road. In a great blue valley, the sun, <clears throat> excuse me, the sun turned red, eyes blinked in their head. What color could it be? Hmm, let's do this here. So Frog and Toad were on the road. Here we go. We're going on the road. Okay, my water is getting kind of different. Ooh, what color is that? Beautiful water. Mm hmm Okay, so what colors did we say? We're over here now, uh-huh, and there's Frog and Toad. They're on the road, and they're going into the Great Blue Valley. Is that what I said? Mm-hmm, so we're going to get blue. Blue, blue, blue. Ta-da! Blue. <clears throat> and so we're going to go here. That's blue. Mm-hmm. Yep, mix it around with our finger because that's always fun, right? And then we're going to show the Blue Valley. There's the Blue Valley. Isn't that fun? Oh, look at how the colors are blending with the black and the blue. That's awesome, I love it. I love it. Inky, inky, do, I love you. Inky, dinky, dee, I love me. Remember we were singing that, Amelia? <laughs> okay, now, What's the next color? We said frog and toad were on the road in the great blue valley. The sun turned red. Okay, so we're gonna get some red. Let's see what color is gonna happen here. Aha, uh -huh, it's pretty exciting. There's the sun up there. Mm-hmm, I'm getting my color. Yes, and you guys are gonna do this later, right? After the video. Okay, I have red, is it red? Mm-hmm, here we go. So we're gonna put red here to show blue plus red. And I'm gonna mix it a little bit with my finger so it doesn't drip down. Blue plus red. And then I'm going to do the sun red also. Ooh, fun. The sun turned red. And if the sun really turned red, I think that would be pretty bright. I think you guys would go like this. Whoa, eyes blinked in their head. And now we're gonna mix red and blue and see what we get. It's kind of a mess here in my little, my little tray, but it's good. Let's see what we have. Blue plus red. Okay, I have to start over, hold on. We have some red here. We have some blue here. We're gonna mix them together. And let's see what happens. Did you guys, you wanna guess what color it's gonna be? What? Ta-da! It's kind of muddy, but it is what it is. It is an actual color. What color did it turn out to be? Aha, let's say the rhyme one more time. We said frog and toad were on the road. There they are in the great blue valley. The sun turned red, eyes blinked in their head. What color could it be? What color? You wanna guess it? Red plus blue plus red equals what? I'll wait for you guys to tell me. You gonna tell me? That's right, it's purple! Yay, awesome, we're doing great. We have one more, you guys ready? One more. Okay, this is the one about Nana the monkey. Do you guys remember Nana the monkey from my story? Okay, Nana went to bed with her blanket red in her family tree house. The yellow rain 
fell again and again. What color could it be? All right, let's see it. We're gonna do the next one here. It's on the bottom. Let's see here. It's good to have a little piece of paper. That was helpful to me. All right, here's Nana. Mm-hmm. She's in her bed in the tree house and it looks like it's raining. She doesn't even have a roof. Poor Nana. I think somebody needs to build her a roof. Maybe her friend Ganesha the elephant will build her a roof. What do you think? Or the bees and the spiders. Oh, the spider webs, right? And here we have three circles. So the first one was her blanket was red. So let's get red, okay? Hold on here, we're gonna get some red. Let's see if you guys can see me down here. Red. Yep, we're doing it. No editing here, this is live, live, live. I'm in my little school and you guys are in your beautiful homes. My school is in my home. Okay, is that red? Mmm, yes. Okay, so her blanket was red. Let's see. I'm first gonna do the circle. So here we go. Red, yep, looks good. And you know I have to touch it with my finger. I'm Swirl it, swirl it. You guys will do this at home. How about I will post a little picture of this and then you guys can print it out and paint it or you can draw your own. Oh, and the red blanket. Yeah, I'll make a little picture for you guys and post it. Yep, there's her red blanket. Oopsie, her face got wet. Well, that's from the rain, huh? All right, that looks good. So her blanket was red and there's a red square. I mean circle, sorry. And then the next one is, we said, what happened? The yellow rain fell again and again, okay? So now we're going to get the yellow. So here we go down here. We'll grab some yellow. Make sure you guys have a little towel next to you because that's really helpful because the water becomes like too much. See my little towel? It's getting dirty, but we don't care. Okay, is it yellow? Yes, yellow. Okay, so the red blanket and the yellow rain. Mm-hmm. Yellow, oopsie. My finger had some, oh yeah, my finger has a lot of paint on them. That's what you guys are gonna look like later, right? Okay, and now we have to draw the rain. So the rain is gonna be yellow. It have to be tiny little droplets. One, two, three. We don't wanna put too much water on there. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the yellow rain. And falling on Nana, oh my goodness gracious. And let's see what color turns out, yellow plus red equals, hmm, what could it be? Yellow and red, red and yellow, hmm. Let's see, I'm mixing them for real here. Okay, mixing it on my palette to make sure that it's just the right color, let's see. We'll say the rhyme one more time. Nana went to bed with her blanket red uh, in her family tree house, the yellow rain fell again and again. What color could it be? Can you do that? Clicking your tongue. All right, let's see what color. Red plus yellow equals, <gasps> what? Did you see? I did it. Tequita, I did it, yellow ise, woo, woo, woo. Okay, we have red plus yellow equals what? Are you guys gonna tell me? What color is it? Mm-hmm. It is orange. So that was fun, you guys. I really enjoyed that. I said today I wanna do something different. I'm gonna clean up my my area here a little bit and then we can do some yoga you guys are ready to jump around and do something fun I said yay heather okay i'm gonna put that down here get my water and put it over here and now we're gonna go over to our yoga spot and then after yoga what what comes after yoga story time
in. Yay! All right, here we are. Put you guys right here. Mm-hmm. Put you guys right here. Let's see, how's that? Is that good? All right, yes. I always have to make sure when I raise my hands up that you can see me all the way. All the way, all the way. Okay, I think we're good here. Now you can see our beautiful picture right here that we did together. Yay! Was that fun, you guys? Okay, so what do we, how do we start our yoga? That's right. We're going to sit down and what? Crisscross applesauce. One foot on the bottom, one foot on top. Clap your hands and then we what? Stop. That's right. Because we love to rhyme. And 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 All right. I'm going to get in the middle here. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are here today. It's so lovely to be with you. It's a little bit cloudy here on this spring morning in my little town here in Northern California. And I just am feeling so happy. I, I'm so happy because you're here with me and because I actually finished a really big project, which was like when you draw a picture and you finish your picture, or when your parents are working on writing something or drawing or doing something or driving somewhere and then they finish and they say, yay, I'm done. Or you finish your picture and you say, yay, I did it. That's how I feel because I finished a book. But guess what? The book is not just for me. The book is for you guys too. And I'm going to show you about that. This coming, uh, this coming week is going to be a lot about that because I just finished the book a few days ago and then I have the book now for sale on my website. That's right. And I cleaned up my website. Oh, I'm so happy. I think that sometimes good things can come from bad things. So we do our best to be happy and stay busy in our lives, but also to be awake, right? So grown-ups say mindful or present. And for the kids, we can say awake and happy and healthy. Awesome. What a beautiful prayer and a great way to begin our yoga session. So remember what we say. What is our first rhyme? This is our roof. Keeps us what? That's right. Dry and warm. Bring hands together. Our heart is our home. And we say namaste. That's a little hello or a big hello. Namaste. Like that, right? Now let's get something yummy and smell it. Yummy. Oh, that's good. And hmm, what's in your bowl? Let's see. Show me what's in your bowl, guys. Oh, I have some paint. Mmm, I think I have something yummy called oatmeal. I'm going to smell it. Yummy. It smells like cinnamon. Mmm, I think I'm going to eat some. <laughs> ah, you like it? <laughs> yummy. Ah, yeah. And now let's, uh, let's wash our hands. Ready? Wash your hands really well. Get some soap. All right. I have a special kind of soap that my kids at my school here know. It's the uh, foam, like foaming hand soap with essential oils. And so then when they rinse it off, rinse, 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 and then they smell. And then their hands smell really yummy, like the good essential oils. And now we're going to air dry. Show me air dry, air dry, air dry, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Air dry, air dry, air dry. We're stretching, we're stretching, we're stretching. Ooh, all the way to the back. To the back, to the back. Ah, that's wonderful. And now we are going to do a special, a special stretching that has to do with all of the different rhymes from the top to the bottom. And here we'll do it all together. Ready? So we go the tick tock, tick tock. We go ding dong, ding dong, because we want to stretch our neck. This is the neck muscle right here. We go round and around, and the other way around and around. And now what's next? Shoulders, nuestros hombros. So we're going to squeeze and let go. Squeeze and let go. And now circles to the back, circles to the back, and now circles to the front. 
Circle to front. It's like you're rowing your boat. Uh-huh. And now we're going to twist, twist, twist. And make your hands fly over land and twist to the back. And then fly over land the other way and then twist to the back. This is the little wake up body, wake up body. Now stir your pot. Remember all these rhymes together, all this yoga together. Other way, stir your pot. Very good. And now we've done all those. We did top, shoulders, and down here. And now feet together, butterflies, knees down low. Nose to your toes, how low can you go? Now stay seated, stay sitting down while you're going to uh, bring your hands and your spiders will crawl all the way, but stay sitting down. I didn't get up, did I? No, and I'm stretching my back. Oh, that feels so good. And now how we stand up, we're going to say, plant your feet side by side. We're going to push our body up so I'm not sitting down. I'm up and we're going to put our arms on the inside, not on the outside, on the inside like a frog and cross and hold. Can you do that? Okay, what did I do? My hands are going across like that, and then they're going like this, and they're together, and then I'm holding them. Isn't that cool? And then pull, 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 pull. Wee. Oh, that feels really good. And now, <laughs> put your hands down flat, and now we're going to raise our seat up high in the air. It looks like this from the side. You can stay where you are and then just let your head hang. I hope that the grown-ups are doing this too because it feels really good. I think it feels really good. And let the, let the blood flow to our head in a good way, yeah? And then we're going to bend our knees and roll our bodies up. Roll, 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 all the way, all the way, all the way to the top. Nice, does that feel good? Woo, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Check it out. Oh my gosh, we almost came to the end of our time here. That's 30 minutes. Is that fun? We did a lot of stuff today. Now, I have something for you, which is a story. Okay, so now it's story time. We did three things. We did some art. We did some yoga. And last one, story. All right, let me get my glasses on. We are all the way and with our spring story, Uma and the Crystal Balls. We're all the way at chapter seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ding, 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 ding. Good. So, oh, I have to show you guys. So this is the special project that I told you I finished. And it's called Keto Kids Club Make a Book for Spring. And this is a really special project that I've been actually working on this since 2013. But I just put it aside and then I would do it again and then I would do some. And so I just put a lot of really wonderful stuff together. And oh my goodness gracious, it's for $10 on my website, ketokidsyoga.com, K-I-D-O, kidsyoga.com. And you can go over there to the shop. I fixed up the website. Ah, oh, it's a work in progress, you know? Uh, the mama wears all the hats right now. I'm wearing all these hats. Well, the papa's doing other stuff too. He's working in the garden, making beautiful vegetables and all the great stuff. So everybody's working together. So here's the story. Chapter seven. Now, what happened yesterday, if you missed yesterday's story, it was where, um, so from a couple days ago, what happened is that Nana the monkey and Sarita the snake were going to go on an adventure because they're basically going to find the last crystal ball. So there's three crystal balls that are now in the rainbow feathered nest and the last crystal ball, they have to find it. So now they're on an adventure and they have found, so far they found a turtle and they found a bird and they found a fox. And all of those uh, characters, all of those little animals are helping um, the Sarita the snake and Nana the monkey to find the last crystal ball. So let's find out what happens now. Uma's papa, oh, so here's another part of the story so I can tell you guys. Uma is a horse. Yeah, 
Uma is a horse. A lot of you guys know that. Uma actually means horse in Japanese, right, Dahlia? So Uma the horse it asked her papa to tell her the story of the crystal ball. So actually the papa, Uma's papa, is telling this story. So now you know why I'm saying Uma's papa. So Uma's papa stopped telling the story for a moment. He said, Uma, do you remember that Mama Frog was a friend of your great-great-grandfather horse? Yes, Papa, said Uma. <laughs> I love that our family knew Mama Frog. Papa continued telling the story of Mama Frog. Mama Frog was a very kind lady indeed. When the group sang her the mermaid song and explained why they needed to find the crystal ball, she was happy to help. She said she knew the whole long story of the life of the mermaid because the mermaid was actually helping the crystal ball. You're gonna hear that part in a minute. It's a very long story, so they should get comfortable and have some lunch together. Mama Frog put everyone to work preparing for the meal. Sarita gathered leaves for chairs and a table. Nana went to look for berries, Nana the monkey. The red fox collected flower dewdrops on petals for a refreshing drink. The turtle picked up sticks to clean, and Mama Frog's little pollywog watched from the water as she swam around in circles. They all settled in on the bank of the river. That's on the side of the river, like the sandy part of the dirty part where they can sit. That's why they had to have little leaves for a chair, right? So stay um, on their little chair. Sarita, Nana, the red fox, the turtle, Mama Frog, and her pollywog were all nearby. And they ate and they drank and they listened to the amazing story of the mermaid. Mama Frog had heard the whole story from a fish who was very good friends with the mermaid. The mermaid song was made up by this fish. The nice fish wrote the song for his friend. I told you guys the song yesterday. I hold you, you help me. We grow bigger swimming in the sea to get today, tomorrow, together, forever. And then the, story, the song goes on and on. So that's the song about the last crystal ball and the mermaid. And they all know that song. And that's how Sarita, the snake, found where, where the last uh, crystal ball was from the song. So Mama Frog heard the whole story from the fish. And in fact, the fish had known the mermaid since they were both very young. Uma's papa stopped for a minute. Uma's papa asked Uma if he remembered how the crystal ball of water was formed. So remember, Uma's papa is telling the story to Uma. And Uma said, yes, he did know, but he still wanted his papa to tell them the whole story. Papa laughed in a long way as horses do with their lips curling up, showing their big teeth. <laughs> like that? That was a laugh. A horse. Can you guys make the sound of how a horse laughs. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and then Papa, the Papa horse kept telling the story. Before our meadow was green with tall trees and grasses full of flowers and animals, it was a land with only sand and rocks. Remember the rocks, like marbles, were forming. Well, one was swept away, we tell this in the earlier part of the book, down, 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 a stream went the marble. So this is the little marble, that big. Down, 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 the river went the marble. Down, 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 over the edge of the mountain, into the sea went the marble. Far below our world lives this beautiful place where everyone must get wet. Deep in the sea, the merfolk also celebrate the spring. That's why the little mermaids and merboys were swimming in a line across their school. The teacher, Merly Mermaid, was waving her arms. Here's a picture. She was waving her arms back and forth with a piece of seaweed. And she's telling them, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> she's telling them what to do. 
Uh, so she was waving her, Merly, Merly Mermaid was waving her arms back and forth with a piece of seaweed and she's telling all the merboys and mergirls and mermaids how to swim back and forth. Can you show me? Swimming back and forth. Good. They were all super excited for the very special spring show that was going to be presented later that week at the Big Merfolk Community Center. Remember, time underwater is different than yours. The clock ticks with a warble that sounds like fish bubbles. Instead of tick tock, tick tock. That's how it sounds. Except, uh, so, and the hands of the clock move more slowly. Water slows everything down except maybe little mermaids and merboys. They're still really fast. They were swimming so fast. Well, most of them were swimming fast. Teacher Merley had to stop to help a few of the slow swimmers to learn their part in the show. But just at that time, one little mermaid named Siobhan was looking up at the sun ray shining down in the water. So she saw the ray of sun shining down in the water. Merfolk believe that when they catch a sun ray, they can make a wish. So she saw that ray of sun come down in the water and she said, oh, I'm gonna make a wish. What would you guys wish for? What would be your special wish? Uma stopped his papa saying, I want to make a wish too. That's what Uma said. Stop to the papa who was telling the story. I want to make a wish too. Yes, dear. <laughs> what would you like to wish for, said papa. Uma said he wished little Siobhan would find her best friend. Aw, said papa, you remember. <laughs> In fact, that is what Siobhan the mermaid was going to wish for. And papa went on. Here's the picture of Siobhan, and there's the little marble that's falling down, down, down. So when Siobhan, little Siobhan, closed her eyes, the little mermaid closed her eyes, she wished for a friend. When she opened her eyes, she saw something twinkling in light, and as it fell down through the water, Siobhan did not look away. She was looking at it. She kept looking at it. She swam up, she grabbed it in her tail, and then she quickly returned to her group in school and held it in her tail. Mm-hmm. And she continued swimming in line with the other mermaids and merboys, and no one had noticed the little marble that she was holding in her tail for now. It was her secret. Ooh. After school, Siobhan swam home to her family to eat seaweed salad and sea vegetables for dinner. Yummy. <laughs> she told her family about the little marble that she had found and she showed her mama and papa the little marble and to their surprise, the marble said, hello. <laughs> Siobhan and her parents were so surprised they all fell back, but she didn't drop the marble. She didn't drop it then and she didn't drop it over the years that she held it. Mm hmm She never let it go. Well, not never. We'll hear what happens. Mermaids have strong tails which help them swim, just like you have strong legs that help you run. So, did you think of your special wish? I'm going to read the second part of Chapter 7 tomorrow. That's right. I have to stop now, you guys, because it's already time for us to stop. So I wanted to say a very special goodbye to everybody. And today, guess what? I did not forget that we are going to close our circle with our closing rhyme. So we're going to say crisscross applesauce, sit in half lotus, like that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to say our closing yoga rhyme. In our Keto Kids Yoga class, we have something called yoga rhymes, right guys? We like to say them. So we say, what a beautiful house. Can you say it together with me if you know it? All right. What a beautiful house. So full of sun. Hands together. This house is fun. Namaste, little one. Or namaste, big one. And that one means goodbye. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Today is Thursday and tomorrow is Friday in this live recording. But it could be any day later when people are watching it, huh? 
So have a wonderful day. Laugh a lot with your family, okay? And laugh a lot and have fun and do some painting. Mm-hmm. Some pictures. And I will post a picture too so you guys can do that. All right. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.